Therefore, let's not be just champions of a particular tradition or theological persuasion just because we have always done it or like it that way. No, our allegiance belongs to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And then when we find ourselves where now our allegiance to Christ starts to press, press on some of our theological persuasions and traditions, we willingly submit them for review under the authority of Christ with the help of God's word so that we will remain effective as Christians to reach a dying world with the gospel. There is no one else better than Jesus through whom God's message to humanity can be heard clearly. If that's what uh, Hebrews chapter 1 is trying to drive at us, that, God's, that God has ultimately spoken through none better than Jesus Christ, then the question becomes for us by way of application is, are you listening to Jesus? Only Jesus, nothing else is better. Only Jesus can reveal the will of God to you, reveal who God is in the fullest. Are you accepting that once and for all in your life? And so, listen, here's the good news. You don't have to be someone who drifts away. You don't have to be someone who drifts away, but you can be somebody who can truly remain faithful to Jesus. Now, to do this will require commitment and taking responsibility on your part. That God saw your vulnerability and through Christ Jesus drew close to our humanity so that he would defeat both the devil and death once and for all. And so Jesus became human so that these foes may be overcome once and for all in the only way possible, which is our, by actually suffering their worst. A brother or a sister in Christ, this is very important to just understand about our existence that this world cannot kill you if you're already dead to it. It cannot kill you if you're already dead to it. And that's who you are in Jesus Christ, dead to this world, but alive in Jesus Christ. So therefore be a people of peace.